My name is Daniel Jason DeCampley. I have been installing professionally for 24 years, and I am the head installer and lead tech at Windward Audio in Kaneohe, Hawaii, and I have been here for a little over two years. As far as my installation specialty goes, uh, I basically would say fabrication, um, design, troubleshooting, uh, and adapting to any vehicle, whatever it may be that comes into our shop. My installation philosophy is as follows. If I'm gonna do a job, I'm gonna do it right, I'm gonna do it the first time. I wanna make sure that if I am taking the time to put something in a customer's vehicle, that they're happy with the work that I do and that I have successfully met their expectations and their needs. I wanna make sure that that customer isn't just a one day customer, but a lifelong customer and will basically be a rolling business card for myself and our business to bring more customers in because one happy customer can bring many customers but one pissed off customer can hurt you really really bad. As far as other installation professionals who have had an influence on me, well being that I've been doing this a long time, installers of influence on me would be back in the day would have been Gary Biggs and Steve Brown, you know, the, the old school guys. But as far as current technologies have been um, coming more into the main, you know, mainstay of insulation. Uh, guys such as Matt Schaefer, Chris Pate, uh, Jeremy Carlson, uh, who I had a chance to chat with for quite some time at SEMA this year. Um, those guys m make me want to try different things and do new things uh, and just step my game up. As far as coworkers would describe me, I'm a goofball. Um, I'm the old guy. I generally am the old guy at every shop I go to. I'm 41 years old, uh, but I always have a positive attitude. I'm always singing. You know, I, I don't want to just come to work to come to work. I want to come to work because I still have a passion for this and I enjoy it. And I want my passion to rub off on other guys and make them want to do this. So when they're in their 40s, they're not just like, why am I still doing this? Uh, biggest challenge I've ever come in the last year. Well, uh, my wife's military and we move every couple of years and every time uh, we move I have to start over from square one again. Uh, when I came to Hawaii I had to do the same thing here. Before that it was California, Colorado, Georgia, Oklahoma, you name it. So every year when every couple of years when we move I have to start on the bottom of the run again. I have to prove myself and work myself work my way up. Which is troublesome at times, but at the same time keeps me humble, keeps me in my game and makes me non-complacent. Uh, customers, what should they remember about the insulation aspect of my service? Again, I want them to be happy. Uh, I'm married happily, 15 years. I want to be married to my wife. I don't want to be married to cars. Uh, I want you know customers to come in here and say, oh, that's the guy that did my car. You need to talk to him. So that's, you know, I, I want to be approachable. I don't want people to be like, oh, I don't want, don't go there. They, they did this or they did that. You know, I take pride in my work. If I if I didn't take pride in my work, I wouldn't be doing it. Why should I be part of the top 15 installers? As I stated earlier, a lot of guys have a job and they go to their job and they do it just because it's a paycheck. I don't do this because it's a paycheck. Yes, I get paid for doing what I do, but it's not. It's more of a love and a passion than anything else. I enjoy coming to work every day and trying new things and doing new things and building things that customers were like, is that possible? I like trying to make the impossible possible. And I like giving a customer something that they didn't know either was available or they didn't have in their head in the first place. Um, I wouldn't still be doing this 24 years later if I didn't still have a love and passion for it. If I didn't care about it, you know, and it's just a job, then I wouldn't do it. But, you know, I love doing what I do, and that's why I still come to work every single day. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of our shop. It's a small shop. Again, Hawaii is expensive, so you, know, you can't, it's expensive to work here. So, here's our shop. The one bay coming through, 
You can put three cars in it, it is very difficult. It doesn't work all the time. Here's my little wing over here. My box. Um, I try to be extremely organized with all my stuff. Coming through. Everything has its own place. You know, where it needs to be. You know, try to keep everything as clean as possible. I don't like to have, I want to be able to look in my box and find everything. You know, work surface. Here's my little work area over here. You get picked on because I have a lot of drills, but, well, here's all our, my mobile solutions templates. Uh, trays for doing alarms and things like that. Computer, cheat sheet for what I, especially need to answer. You know, laptop pull out where I go my work from and design. As far as a fab shop, I don't have one. My fab shop is portable table saws and portable routers. And it keeps me humble because I'm still doing what I'm doing. And if you can work with little and turn some cool stuff out, then that's pretty cool. Um, here's another shot from the back of the day, looking out. And then here is our storefront. Um, little displays I built just for showing people things and whatnot but that is about it so once again my name is Daniel DeCampley uh, Windward Audio Kanye Higuai uh, thank you for your consideration for the top 50 installers for 2017 and thank you very much